finally we can uh, organize it. So we will have uh, recording in progress. Qu quite intensive uh, program of uh, ten days. So many interesting lectures, and uh, uh, we want, of course, to welcome all the participants and uh, all the speakers, lecturers of this summer school, and uh, maybe some uh, organizational remarks. So we will have, uh, we will also try to brought, so there is also Zoom, I think, connected, and uh, because we have some joint, uh, joint uh, uh, PhD students and other people who can uh, listen to some talks on Zoom, and I think, so Santiago is in charge of uh, yes. Yes. Zoom connection. Yes. And uh, so if you have questions on the you can ask Santiago. So the, the program is that we have. Uh, uh, so un unfortunately, I would say the canteen, the canteen is now working. University canteen is working in the summer uh, mode still. They uh, have uh, the sandwiches and soups. There are some restaurants nearby, but we ordered uh, like every second day. I think we ordered uh, sandwiches to come here so we can put lunch. Uh, in this building, we will also have, uh, you will see cakes. Uh, let me see the program. Uh, we will have, uh, at some point, up, after the talks, uh, every, every day, we will have uh, cakes with uh, Belgian cakes are good. So this is, uh, will be a good uh, chance to try uh, some Belgian, Belgian cakes. And the program, I think that, uh, well, the program is, uh, Unfortunately, one speaker couldn't come because of COVID, but uh, uh, the rest uh, seem to be uh, in good health. So uh, we are very happy. And uh, I should say that uh, maybe some uh, on, on, on Wednesday, on Wednesday we will have a public lecture. Uh, Professor Kiryakova here from Bulgarian Academy of Sciences also uh, her talk. So she, she, she is a well-known uh, expert and. Uh, uh, on the fractional calculus, and in fact, in charge of the uh, very important uh, high impact factor journal uh, about fractional calculus. So, she uh, is, has been working on uh, Professor Luchko also, but uh, uh, so both of them and, and, and uh, Professor Kirikova, she uh, has been uh, driving force behind uh, fractional calculus for many years, and she will give public lecture. Uh, which is uh, fraction calculus in, in science and engineering, which will, uh, for general audience, uh, this will be on Wednesday, on Wednesday, at 4 o'clock, after the coffee break, and then we will have a reception uh, bunker, which will be uh, outside, uh, uh, so everyone is welcome to join. And I think another, another thing to keep in mind that we have a number of colleagues from Uzbekistan, and they also offered to cook uh, plov for uh, participants. I think this will be on Friday, I guess. Uh, yes, so this is uh, uh, special offer. Uh, special, yes, special offer, and uh, we uh, have been tasting and practicing eating plov uh, before the school, so we can confirm that it's a uh, very good, and uh, so hopefully the so it's still summer in Belgium. It's, yeah, and all enjoy the nice warm weather, and uh, uh, hopefully not too hot uh, for people. Sometimes rain, but uh, uh, yes, this is and, and so so they have uh, so I should say that they have some organizing committee. Uh, I should say Huel Huel is uh, has been corresponding to uh, with some people, so you can address any questions. As well as here, we have Santiago, Irfan, and also Andrea. So, then uh, uh, for questions, they will uh, guide the practical things. So, I think this is. Uh, am I forgetting to say something? Uh, there is, yeah, yeah, you, you, you get cups, uh, hopefully, and then we have a coffee machine in the kitchen. So, feel free to, uh, it's provided by the department. So, feel free uh, to have coffee or cappuccino. Or, or chocolate, or whatever you like, uh, at any time. And uh, okay, so I think that this is uh, these are the announcements.
so, uh, okay, so then we can uh, start with some, uh, after this preliminaries, we can start with, uh, I, I see some, yeah, some, some people already, uh, well, also I welcome people from on connecting on Zoom, and, and so the first lecture we have uh, uh, Professor Virginia Kiryakova, she's a Bulgarian mathematician, as I said, very well known for her work on fractional calculus, special functions, uh, and uh, Metacliffler functions, and also on the history of calculus. So this will be maybe a public lecture, but uh, uh, she is a professor in the Institute of Mathematics and Informatics of the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences. So, Virginia, uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you. Professor Luzhansky and all local organizers for invitation to have uh, this uh, lectures on mini courses, did you say, and also for the public lecture. Uh, so, uh, of course, uh, it is depending on the audience uh, what details I can give more, and some of them I will skip. Uh, and I have also some folders with uh, additional readings for the lectures. Uh, uh, I ask it how it can be organized, but maybe who is interested can send me email or here I can provide by flash. So if on some topic you are interested, you can get additional files of my works or also suitable works by, by other uh, authors uh, on the topic. So uh, let me start with uh, okay. Uh, is it like this? Yes. If you are okay, uh, to the note or? Hey, the first line is uh, so. Uh, you know, fractional calculus uh, it is uh, the topic uh, like the classical calculus, but uh, we allow the operators of differentiation and integrations to be not only of integer order, but of any, say, fractional or even complex number order. In, uh, like in the classical calculus, the notions of integration and differentiation are always uh, interrelated, but uh, at least in the course I had followed as a student on classical calculus, it is usual first to uh, define the uh, derivative. A uh, uh, list of derivatives of the functions you know, and then in next semester or next lecture they introduce the integration, like primitive functions and so on. But in, class, uh, in fractional calculus, uh, the way uh, suitable to introduce this is opposite. Uh, we always start first with definitions of the integrals of fractional order and then um, define the derivatives uh, by means of integration and combination with some differentiation of integer And uh, the most classical well-known uh, definition for uh, integration of fractional order is the Riemann-Urgill fractional integral. Of course, there are room well, let me go and so on, and many other definitions, but uh, what I work on this uh, topic is uh, based on uh, Riemann-Urgill definition of fractional integration. And by, by this, uh, the, na the corresponding fractional derivatives are usually of two kinds. The Riemann Liouville and Caputo, or better to say, Jirubashan Caputo uh, type derivative, of course. Hilfer introduced also some mixture between them, uh, but it is a um, composition of uh, operators of the two kinds. Uh, the, my 
My topic of the so-called generalized fractional calculus uh, is based on operators of fractional calculus that essentially use special functions as kernels. Uh, and uh, the special functions are very general uh, what I use, but uh, it is important they, are single, they have singularities. And in next lectures of Professor Lutko, there will be given a more general approach why singularity is very important to have true fractional calculus operator. So the theory was based uh, in my book uh, of 1994. Unfortunately, I had no time by, <laughs> by now to update it because, uh, well, some correction of many updates uh, can be had, but uh, uh, by the moment, uh, it stay as it is. And uh, uh, let me say that my motivation to introduce such a generalized section of calculus was uh, uh, go back to the ideas and works of uh, Professor Shiam Kala. And that time he was working in Venezuela. And um, uh, Together with Saxena, Love, uh, some other authors, Vastava, uh, they considered uh, some, uh, okay, at least integral operators that uh, should be a, uh, considered a fractional calculus and have kernel functions, special functions. Uh, as I tell you later, it was only preliminary ideas because to make a um, theory on these operators, it was necessary to fix and to choose more suitable uh, classes of special functions. Uh, but from these ideas, many applications the, the so-called generalized fractional calculus appeared, not only in fractional calculus, but in all the topics of special functions, of integral transforms, operational calculus, in uh, dealing with differential equations, classes of analytic functions, and other problems that uh, were formally not related at all to fractional calculus. But uh, when we speak about generalized fractional calculus and operators of uh, generalized fractional uh, integrals of derivatives, recently there are many various definitions about this notion. So we need to be more detailed because uh, aside from some of the cost. Uh, so the authors like Kala and uh, Rooney, Parashar and others uh, uh, went uh, further, they decided to use the most general hyper, uh, generalized hypergeometric functions like the Marge function and the Fox H function. But uh, with arbitrary parameters and with arbitrary orders uh, M, M, P, Q, you see later definition, but uh, this is important how we choose these parameters. Uh, and they built so-called um, theory, but it was uh, only some, some definition and some one formal property. And uh, finally, Kala proposed the notion of generalized operators of fractional integration of more general form, where he said, well, we can take arbitrary kernel function, uh, how say in equation 10, um, to be continuous um, and just uh, it is definition uh, such that the integral makes sense in, for some functional spaces. Well, it is the problem how to, to choose this uh, kernel phi, so we can really extend to make a theory of generalized fractional calculus. Uh, <coughs> So the, the, this survey paper of color was published in Lecture Notes in Mathematics in 1980, this reference. Uh, and now the problem was how to choose uh, the Myers function and Fox H function not to be so 
general or not to be like peculiar like uh, this Gauss or uh, basal function, so to care for this and theory of generalized fraction of calculus. Because I mentioned several times the Fox functions and the Meyer functions, uh, just a uh, formal definition. Uh, these are generalized hypergeometric functions defined by means of contour million burst type integrals. You see how many parameters are involved with uh, this A, B, law, and capital, and the order M and P, Q. And practically the integrand uh, here is uh, the million transform of this function. You see the structure of this uh, function. It is uh, like in the book uh, consider, uh, published first in Russian by Marichev on uh, evaluation of uh, special uh, integrals of special functions, that it depends on uh, uh, four groups of gamma functions, all with uh, different parameters in the nominator, denominator, the conditions for the uh, contour for the parameters and so on, so on the poles to be separated by the contour and so on. And a little simpler was when the capital parameters A and B are all uh, equal to one, then we have the margin function introduced it uh, in 40 years, and it was uh, yet given in uh, chapter five of bacon the first volume of high transcendental functions. So my, my hint was to choose not arbitrary uh, orders M, M, P, Q, but such that we have enough singularity to, to make uh, the theory and to uh, B to have the compositions of classical operators. So in the general case, like in the book of some called Hilda's Marichev, this can be Mn, but uh, the law orders are N, M plus M, when we have compositions of both riemann liouville and while integrals left and right hand. But uh, to be simpler, we consider the case when N is uh, zero, so our uh, kernel functions basically are uh, orders M0, MM, or uh, same for the more general case of Fox H function. But practically, the operators we will define uh, happen to be also repeated uh, integrations, uh, compositions of Hertie cover operators like 13. Uh, and then you should use this uh, very a long uh, expression and how to deal with this is uh, will be very difficult. When but we can define these operators and in equation 14, you see only single integral uh, with uh, the margin function. Uh, this margin function is uh, shown to have uh, singularities in zero and one, and under the conditions we use. Uh, the integral is uh, convergent, all definitions are okay, and in the general case is the same with the uh, Fox H function. So the, we look on the set of delta 1, delta 2, delta n non negative, uh, like a set of multi order of fractional integration delta. We have uh, multi weight the parameters gamma 1, gamma 2, and so on, and additional uh, multi-parameter beta. And we consider all this as uh, operators of multi fractional multi-order, and it is uh, can be combined with non-negative powers, and all this we uh, can say are generalized fractional integrals. Uh, I skip the details on functional spaces, but like an operation of uh, calculus and to derive operational rules, you usually consider either power weighted continuous functions or uh, Lebesgue um, integrable functions with weights, or in a uh, complex uh, domain, analytic functions uh, in star like domains. For all of them, uh, we need uh, these uh, conditions uh, 17. So to have proper definitions and proper theory. Then. 
the, the main uh, proposition is we show that uh, definition with uh, special function and definition as composition of um, um, classical operators are equivalent. So we can uh, decompose uh, the operator if it is with spe uh, special function or vice versa uh, to replace the repeated integrals by single integrals with a special function. You see, say for example, the image of a power function, it uh, uh, preserves the power function with some coefficient depending, of course, of the gamma functions, and this coefficient is always positive, and uh, this is shown to be invertible ma mappings on uh, space in subspace in itself. Uh, well, uh, for Lebesgue integrable functions, uh, it is uh, shown that these are bounded operators, and um, there is a long list of operational rules we can uh, provide, like in the classical fractional calculus, uh, for these generalized fractional integrals, which is useful how to do with them. So first is elementary for um, bilinear operation. It is shown that if some orders of uh, integration are zero, how the order is uh, reduced uh, in the first equation. Uh, then uh, a formula for um, commutability with power functions. Uh, also, how such two operators with different parameters can commute and give another one, uh, again of the same form. And uh, the most important is the semigroup property here, the last equation, like in the classical fractional calculus. But usually the semi-group property is used for formally to write down uh, inversion formula, uh, which, uh, like in the case of classical cal um, fractional calculus, is uh, not well defined. So uh, we use again the trick like for the Riemann-Liouville fractional derivatives, uh, but uh, not using only uh, in, in differentiation of integer order, but special differential operator of integer order. And it was the problem how to find, to define the operator. Well, for uh, delta, which are the um, components of the fractional multi-order of integration, uh, we define, like in the riemann liouville case, the smallest uh, integer numbers yet uh, k greater than uh, this, and uh, then we compose by this uh, integer number the auxiliary differential operator 19. It is a polynomial, as you see, of the Euler differential operator t d u t, uh, and uh, to use it we have uh, to prove some differential formulas for the g functions and for the h functions, how they work to reduce the parameters of these functions. By means of such uh, additional differential operator, we now can define the uh, corresponding generalized fractional derivatives. Uh, you see, like in 20, um, uh, like in the Riemann-Liouville sense, we have first uh, differentiation by means of this operator composed by generalized fractional integral of non-negative fractional multi-order. Uh, well, uh, if uh, the parameters beta are all equal to beta or to 1, we have a simple case with uh, minus g functions in the definitions. Uh, well, we, we need to have also Caputo type derivative and it was uh, introduced in our joint work with Professor Wuchko in 2013 in the Central European Journal of Physics. You see the formula 22. Uh, it is the same idea, but the differentiation, the polynomial d eta, is uh, under the sign of integral, like in the computer. Uh, and then we show that both these generalized fractional derivatives are left uh, 
inverse to the generalized fraction of integrals. Well, maybe I speak this detail, uh, skip these details, but when we have differentiation integration, uh, we have usually difference. Uh, uh, it is depending on initial conditions on the functions and in operational calculus and in calculus usually for such operators it is considered the so-called operator of initial condition or projector operator. And in our general case we have the form of these uh, operators with their coefficients and so on. Uh, and of course, it was based on uh, initial work by Luchko and Trufilio, where they first introduced the Caputo type uh, derivative of air takeover in the classical case. Well, a very important special cases of uh, this generalized fractional calculus, uh, well, which was hint for me to start the studies, was the so called hyperbasal differential operator introduced by advi my advisor, Ivan Dimoski, uh, who was uh, first the founder of uh, convolutional calculus in the sense of Mikusinski, but for uh, arbitrarily linear in operators. And then also in 1966, he also introduced the so-called hyper differential operators as extension of the Bessel operator of second uh, order. Uh, well, you see the form 31. You have a composition of uh, integer order differentiations and by some, composed by some weight functions and all these parameters. Uh, first, he uh, introduced some algebraical approach uh, for operational calculus of Mikusinski side for this uh, sense, and also in uh, Laplace type integral for, for transform, which is uh, known as the Obreshkov integral transform, another Bulgarian mathematician who introduced this integral uh, transform in uh, yet in the 50s, but it was not popular and then reinvented in, in particular cases by many authors. Uh, to have better idea what are these hyper operators, you see the alternative representations 32 and the next one in blue, where you see that it imitates the Bessel function, but with much more Mm, parameters in uh, high order. So it is operator of uh, with singular uh, variable coefficients, a singular one, and of integer order, arbitrary integer m, not one, not two, and so on. And if we consider like similarly like for the um, fractional calculus, uh, Cauchy problem, uh, as a solution, we can find the left, uh, the right inverse operator of the hyper Bessel differential operator, which we call hyper Bessel integral. This is the integral here in 34. Uh, but you see, it was written by Dimovsky in uh, like repeated integral. And he worked with some convolutions and some properties, but all these were related with convolutions of uh, very complicated expressions and repeated integrals. So my hint was to use the Marge function and the same operator like in 34. Uh, I, I present it in the simple way uh, with the uh, Marge function 35. And it was the hint for me how to next extend to fractional order operators. Uh, so, because the fractional powers of these operators were presented by Dimovsky by some convolutions, a very com complicated form, but we see that the, the same power functions of operator L can be easily represented by operator 37, where the difference between upper and lower row parameters are constant lambda, the power. But uh, the hint is if we take not uh, all same lambdas to 
replace lambda by different uh, due to one, due to two, due to m, uh, to be order um, parts of fractional multi order. And then we have the hyper Bessel operators, only as very special cases of our generalized fractional calculus. Uh, just for example, if you have a hyper Bessel differential equation uh, with uh, con initial conditions with chi equal in uh, Riemann Liouville and Caputo type in this sense, we have the exact solutions and also the fundamental uh, system of solutions, which are the so-called hyperbessel um, functions introduced by Delerio for operational calculus in 1953. Well, these are, you see, these are practically uh, hypergeometric functions with um, order zero and m or m minus one. Uh, which are um, extension of the Bessel functions. Well, for uh, particular cases as our operators, we uh, just mention a few of them. Uh, for example, take m equal to 1. What happens? Uh, the kernel Fox H function with uh, order 1, 0, 1, 1, is uh, also the G functions of Mar, and it, it, uh, it is easy seen that it is the kernel of the Riemann Liouville and that they cover operator. Uh, so, our operators are just at the cover classical operator, then, in special case, also Riemann Liouville integrals. And same for the derivatives. Uh, what kind of problems uh, one can solve uh, and use these operators? For example, it was a paper by Han and Lutko in 1914, where for, uh, uh, they considered operational calculus for Cauchy problems with such operators uh, of Caputo type, uh, when m is equal to 1. And with these conditions, and uh, the, um, the explicit solution are found, okay, of course, by means of metaclear functions. Uh, the next case is m equal to 2. It's uh, much more interesting, uh, but it gives the so-called hypergeometric integrals we mentioned in the beginning. Uh, especially for the simple case, one beta one, beta two, the two parameters beta equal, uh, we have also this uh, like G function, and it is uh, reduced to Gauss hypergeometric function. You see this formula. And then we get all the operators that were considered by Love, Saxena, Kala, Tricomi, McBride, and so on. Uh, and most popular now in many papers recently when uh, authors evaluate uh, uh, images of some special functions are for the so-called psycho operators. They are depending on three parameters, alpha, beta, eta. We see in next lectures. But uh, these are just cases of the hypergeometric fractional integrals. He used it to the introduced when studying some Poisson Darboux type differential equations and problems. But uh, many authors keep or ignore the fact that these psycho operators, uh, in general hypergeometric fractional integrals, are just compositions of two classical and they cover or operators. And then uh, the, the, the theory and uh, what is known for the classical operators can be used. For example, there was uh, another problem solved uh, when using hypergeometric fractional derivatives by author Horati in uh, 2013 in uh, our journal, where you see this operator d alpha beta is, uh, have two orders of uh, differentiation alpha and beta. Uh, with these initial conditions, and practically it is a composition of operators of differential alpha, beta, and uh, some weight function t to power r. Uh, so, um, 
it uh, falls in our case where m is equal to 2. And another example for the psychohypergeometric fractional integral derivative also was considered for a Cauchy problem by Rao, Gard, Kala, and in another work by Luchko and Trujillo, and in general case in our joint work uh, with Luchko. Uh, the case m equal to 3 is also interesting, <coughs> recently popular in some special case, of course, like the so-called uh, marriage of psychomaeda, or they abbreviate MSM operators. Why? Uh, in this case, we, uh, if we consider uh, for us uh, m equal to 3, the kernel G function, we have here G, of orders 3033, it happens to coincide with the kernel of the, these operators, which is the so-called Abel F3 function F3 you see in this formula in the middle. Uh, and this fact also is ignored by authors. They just start to introduce uh, what they can use for these operators. Uh, then uh, to evaluate some images or to solve some problems, but uh, it is ignored that these are compositions of three classical operators and also very special case uh, for our theory when m equal to 3 and everything is done. <laughs> uh, for uh, arbitrary m, uh, we have, uh, as mentioned, the hyper -Bessel differential in integral operators, even if they are of integer order, but it is integer multi-order can be considered, yes, one, one, one. Uh, so in the case, uh, integer order m. Uh, more general case uh, in the k uh, for uh, arbitrary m, multiplicity of our operators, is based on the definition given by Gelfond and Leontief of 1951. They introduced the so-called generalized integration and differentiation, uh, differentiation uh, with respect to some entire function. In our case, we use uh, this entire function in the classical case Metaclefer function, and in the more general case for us, the so-called multi-index Metaclefer functions, and they generate these two operators, uh, 46 and 47, you see, where for analytic function fz, uh, the, the generalized fractional integral is defined by 46. Uh, the main row is the multiplier uh, by all these gamma functions, which are the, indices, uh, the parameters of the multi-index metaphylacle function, and the corresponding general Gelfontiantiv generalized differentiation of the next formula, 47. Uh, we can, we should have proved that uh, these are well defined in uh, un unit circle or the circle of convergence of the analytic function fz, but if we uh, use analytical continuation of these operators in star-like domains, uh, it is shown that the, the, the generalized the integration in the sense of Gelfond Leontief is a special case of our generalized fractional integral, and respectively, the Gelfond Leontief generalized differentiation can be presented by means of generalized fractional derivatives. And of course, by a special case, are the hyper Bessel operators again. Uh, well, some details on the Gelfond Leontief operators, how they can be decomposed as compositions of power functions and uh, differentiation of order 1 over OK, for example. So we have a practically multi order of uh, fractional integration of fractional differentiation. All uh, it represented by means of single integral with Fox H function. 
Uh, and the interesting thing is that if we consider such kind, uh, general kind of uh, differentiation, equa uh, differential equation of this d of y minus uh, lambda y equal to some function fz of multi-order like written here, it happens that the solution of such equations are found in uh, the terms of the multi-index metaclefler functions for which uh, we spill details on the lecture on Friday. And uh, practically, uh, it is shown that the multi-index metaclefler functions appear as eigenfunction of the Gelfont-Leonti of operators uh, generated by these functions, which uh, seems to be natural. <laughs> uh, well, some references I mentioned it are the works of Gelfond Leonti, the book of Snedon and next one survey works, uh, the initiating uh, survey paper by Kala. Uh, before to publish the book, I started to work on with uh, such operators in 86, 88 and so on. Some of them were joined with Professor Kala. Mm, and then we continued our research uh, together with Dimoski because uh, he started hyperbasal operators, but in his way, not related to special functions at all. Uh, and uh, we developed later, um, by means of this calculus, a new integral transforms. Uh, generalizing the Obreshkov integral transform. For example, we have a paper with Musalam and Bukin Tuan, uh, and uh, we show that the multi index metaclefler functions are solutions of equations with Gelfond Leonti of operators in a work with Ismail Ali Kiriakov and Kala, the first uh, one in, on this slide. Uh, some joint papers with Luchko, as mentioned. My survey papers in computers and mathematics with applications. Uh, this uh, specially mentioned works by Forati, Hanna Luchko. Uh, my, um, then, uh, as I show in the public lecture, there was very important eight volume. Uh, uh, publication series of uh, books of handbook and fractional calculus and applications initiated by Professor Machado. And especially the first volume was co edited by Wuchko and Kochu Bay. And there I had some um, joint uh, articles uh, with Machado, with Wuchko, and my, uh, my own. Uh, some of them are written here. Uh, and maybe it is uh, okay. <laughs> Enough uh, is details. Uh, so uh, we continue the topic on Friday. While on the public lecture, I will tell you more about Machado's works, uh, history, uh, some applications, and so on. So thank you. <laughs> Perfect timing, despite the uh, progress uh, attack. Uh, um, Professor Kireko will manage to finish exactly uh, on time. So, uh, yes, so I think it was a lot of um, interesting formula, a lot of information uh, uh, in the first lecture. Uh, so, she will continue on uh, Friday. And, and as I mentioned, there will be a public lecture on uh, Wednesday. but. Uh, so she, she, she is, an, as you saw, she is an author of many books and papers and mm -hmm. uh, over many years about this subject. So it's a great opportunity for us to talk here and to uh, learn from her. So I, I suggest that um, if there are some questions or uh, uh, the Maybe it's uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, not a question, but a comment. Uh, in fact, uh, there will be some discussions uh, in the afternoon session. So probably we can discuss uh, in details uh, uh, all questions and uh, comments uh, during this uh, session. But uh, I have just uh, one comment, and 
äh, in Professor Kirak arbeitet mit Mensch, äh, Menschen mit, äh, that uh, her approach is, uh, is based on the median integral transform, yeah, yeah. In, in fact. So, uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, for the fractional calculus operators, there are several approaches, uh, uh, and uh, uh, for the time fractional integrals and derivatives, uh, sometimes uh, uh, the form of the Laplace convolution operators are used, and sometimes the form of the median convolution and uh, uh, the approach of Professor Kiryakova is based on the Mellin um, integral transform and Mellin convolution, and it's uh, really a very uh, easy and useful machinery of this Mellin integral transform. So probably we can uh, continue this topic in the uh, afternoon session by discussions to show how this machinery uh, really works here, to derive these complicated formulas. Yeah, very yeah. easy. Yes, uh, this is, uh, is uh, yes. a good uh, comment. Uh, comment yes, is that, uh, as I mentioned, it may be shortly, that uh, another inspiring then Carlos works were the book by Marice, first published in Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, this um, Pechelia integral of a special <laughs> <laughs> uh, evaluation of integrals of special functions, which was partly edited uh, uh, now in English, maybe not in the same form, that uh, there are all these gamma functions, products of gamma functions were basically used to, to derive all things uh, related to special functions at all. And the next comment, maybe, or um, question, open question, would be maybe Professor Wojcicki will comment on work later. If the kernels I mentioned here uh, uh, can be um, can fall in you know, the Sonnen pair kernels, he will use in the theory. <laughs> so. Uh, Okay, yeah. Yes, uh, good indeed. There is a direct approach using mm -hmm. special functions. There is also operational approach, which uh, Professor Lichkova was uh, developing. So there are different approaches to this subject. But uh, okay, so I think that's now we make a break. Uh, so we have another lecture by uh, uh, Professor Yuri Lichkova. Then after that we'll have lunch break. But uh, so now we have.